Hey folks, Brian here for Here It Is TV. Love me or hate me, you know I'm going to ask those questions that people just don't want to ask. Take a second, click subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Friends, I want to say something here, and I don't want people to think that I'm anti-American with some of my statements, my videos. Some of the videos I've put out caused, have caused a bit of a stir recently. I think the U.S. is a great country. Every country in the world owes a lot to the U.S. A lot of the invention, the technologies, the medicines we have, a lot of great things. However, some people in the world might not always agree with the Americans' activities geopolitically and their involvement with other countries. So, but that being said, a while ago I was talking to an American friend of mine uh, on Facebook and I was looking at some of the posts they were talking about the American healthcare system and how a lot of people if they didn't have insurance how basically they were screwed and I am going to be the first here to really admit I find the American healthcare system really confusing and I don't want to sound like a Michael Moore documentary here but it boggles my mind that the most powerful country in the world who spends a gazillion dollars on their military every year their military far surpasses every other military out there um, common logic to me which some people might argue I don't have but I would say why don't you take a couple billion from your your military expenditures every year it's in the hundreds of billions no other country is going to catch you militarily it's it's, it's all good why don't you take just $2 billion of that and divert it just to have even a basic health care coverage? Now, people might get into all the Obamacare and all this other stuff. Just explain the American health care system to me. It's just so hard for me to imagine that such an influential, powerful country, that there's families on the brink of bankruptcy every day having to choose between getting medical procedures done or just having to suffer and put up with it, or having to have that stress over your head when you're trying to live the American dream. And we understand, too, with a lot of the insurance companies, there's loopholes. People work for the insurance companies trying to get out of having to pay people. I just don't understand. In such a great country, you would think that everyone should have the, the reassurance that if they get hurt, they break their leg, they can go into a hospital to get cared for and not have to worry about all these crazy overhead expenditures. Now, maybe I'm wrong. This is where I'm asking everyone to step up comment explain it to me in detail but i just don't understand a lot of people i think some of the attitude is well why should i pay for someone else's problems well what if your problems end up being a lot bigger than other people's right some people probably don't have to go to hospital for years it's just there's just something weird going on there and i just don't understand it help me help me understand comment below